Katembu. Katembu. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's so uh, interesting this afternoon is that you two are Manchester, Manchester United fans. fans eh? yeah. And United I did fans. ask a very simple question. Is this your year? Is this the year when Manchester United is uh, going to be restored? 2021, yes. uh, you see, we began so good. You began First, so well. Mm -hmm. uh, January, mm -hmm. and uh, we scored Aston Villa. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> on the other side, if you look at Aston Villa when mm -hmm. they played against Liverpool mm -hmm. the first time, they mm -hmm. did well with seven, uh, seven goals, goals, seven two. Wow! At that time, but then uh, if you look at it, Sai mm -hmm. Manchester United. Mm -hmm. at, at all times, kwamba Fernando. Uh, Fernandez and a pata uh, penalty. Mm -hmm. We don't believe in that. 65 minutes of the play and you get a penalty, you win two goals to one. <laughs> we shall be discussing that in a very, uh, in some few minutes from now. But is this your ear? Yes. Uh, yes, just hold it there because <laughs> you have a game in hand. <laughs> first things first, uh, the 2020-2021 sports, uh, sports events taking place in Kenya. We've seen the Cleo Malala Cup, uh, which uh, has used the latest technology, VAR. Mm. What should the Premier League uh, K officials, the FKF, learn from this? Uh, I believe there should be a lot of training mm -hmm. first to give these people a chance to mm -hmm. know much about the VAR. Mm -hmm. And uh, looking at the shift of uh, sponsorship, for mm -hmm. instance, mm -hmm. if you get a chance to get a sponsor, the way Mozart is sponsoring Kakamega or Moes right mm -hmm. now, it should also come in with the VAR, mm -hmm. uh, giving them a chance to mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. what will happen mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you get a chance to know uh, watching a match and mm -hmm. when there is a fall mm -hmm. you need to take a chance of a VAR. It is more of 100% sure mm -hmm. that uh, uh, the, the match is correct mm -hmm. or is right. There's no, no much falls mm -hmm. uh, compared to when there is no VAR. Mm -hmm. But do I, the only thing that I don't think and I don't believe is mm -hmm. if Kenya is really ready for VAR. Are we ready for VAR? No, because the KPL matches started long ago. Mm -hmm. We have not seen any. Mm -hmm. We have seen this in Cleo First Malala Super mm -hmm. Cup. This is a challenge to KPL officials. Mm -hmm. And uh, above, above all, I think uh, KPL mm -hmm. is not ready for, uh, for the VAR mm -hmm. uh, to be introduced in, in any stadium. I talk of Kasarani, Nyayo. Yes. Are they ready? In your stadium? perspective, how long will it take us maybe to, uh, to embrace <laughs> such... Let, let, let me chip in immediately mm -hmm. before even you finish your question. Mm -hmm. Look at the time when you were young and you got a chance to have the smartphone how long did you <laughs> learn <this>? <laughs> <laughs> maybe 10 to 10 10 10 10 10 years maybe roughly. yes yes because you mm -hmm. you need to grow with it mm -hmm. so kenya we cannot so immediately say that we are perfect enough for var mm -hmm. because that thing even mm -hmm. uh, in Ukiangalia mm -hmm. Ngambo, there's still some hitches that are mm -hmm. coming up with the var mm -hmm. but uh, if kenya you know kenya that we are in yes Looking at it, mm -hmm. analyzing mm -hmm. and realizing the weakness of Everton. Yes. And uh, if he continues that way mm -hmm. uh, after the heat by Corona at mm -hmm. that time at West Ham, mm -hmm. it might go far. Mm -hmm. But then Everton, looking at them, mm -hmm. Carlo Ancelotti was mm -hmm. doing a very good job. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what, what is really happening at mm -hmm. uh, Goodison Park. But yes. The belief is if he continues mm -hmm. and maybe at this time of transfer, mm -hmm. he needs to go back. Look at what um, exactly does he need because he made so many signings this season. Uh, I think Everton is lacking experienced uh, quality players. No, they have the likes of Ames Rodriguez. But they have the likes of Yeri Mina, okay, who, they who joined from Barcelona. Uh, they started off well, very well this season, and everybody knew that Everton will contend for the title. But after James Rodriguez came off, injury uh, it affected Everton. Up to now, you can see they lack a quality uh, midfielder who can produce those killer passes to strikers like um, Calvert Lawin and Alex Iwobi. Mm -hmm. They're not doing well uh, since uh, James Rodriguez came off. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's up to Carl Angelo to use either Iwobi or Sigurdsson mm -hmm. to give uh, Calvert Lawin good balls. But passes. yesterday's game we saw Gilfie Sigurdsson was on the pitch, Calvert Lawin was there. But, but their they coordination could not produce is not good. the performance that you, everybody you cannot compare e expected. The few games you have seen uh, Sigerson and Calvert Lowen mm -hmm. play, playing together, mm -hmm. and uh, you cannot compare with uh, James Rodriguez playing mm -hmm. with Sigerson uh, with Dakore together in the midfield. So Rodri they are missing Rodriguez. They are really missing. When Tottenham in, uh, uh, Hot Hot Pass Pass, is eh? facing mm -hmm. a challenge of coronavirus pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, they were to face Fulham, mm -hmm. but they did not play because of uh, the pandemic. Yes, and this might be 
quite a negative part of uh, Tottenham. Mm -hmm. Look at the Leeds when they played against West Bromwich Albion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They scored five goals to nil. Five goals to nil. Meaning Leeds United. Actually, is <coughs> this a very big statement they are making before Jose Mourinho? Marcelo Bielsa, Bielsa. the tactician mm -hmm. himself, mm -hmm. is very creative. Mm -hmm. When he sits cuando mm -hmm. he thinks. I mean, uh, <laughs> actually, I like, I yeah, like how so he does it. 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 Marcelo Bielsa is doing. That guy is a tactician who has been doing this for quite some time. Before mm -hmm. the relegation of Leeds United, mm -hmm. uh, I guess 16 years ago, and then they came back with the mm -hmm. tactician himself. Yes. And uh, I believe yes. if he continues that way, mm -hmm. hitting small by small, mm -hmm. he will arrive home saf safely, mm -hmm. coming even to top yes. four. Uh, I, I really point. wanted to ask Manyange, but then uh, I... I, I I don't know if you have... Manyange, do you think Frank Lampard gave a chance uh, give to Michael Arteta to win at that time when they were playing against uh, Arsenal? I actually said Frank Lampard is the biggest fraud and con man you have in change. All your thoughts there, we are coming to Frankie Lampard. For Manchester United, it was very difficult for United. Uh, they came from the Europa League at a later stage. They started the Premier League uh, one game behind the other teams. Yes. So it was very difficult Paul Pogba contacting uh, COVID-19, mm -hmm. which has really affected him uh, this season. Mm -hmm. But you, you saw yesterday's game, he really tried to help Manchester United. He won the penalty for United. He participated in all two goals for United. Mm -hmm. So I think the squad is uh, building well under Laguna Socia. What they need to do is just to balance the squad. Mm -hmm. They are only rely, relying on the striking force of Anthony Marshall, mm -hmm. Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes to, to get those goals for United. If they balance the squad, mm -hmm. they can say this season... United. Is the squad balanced or not? It is no. not if 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 Marshall today or mm -hmm. Marcus Rashford mm -hmm. uh, get an injury mm -hmm. at the end of the day Manchester United the scoring side mm -hmm. will fail. Will but fail. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe mm -hmm. having been associated with uh, Mze Mwenyewe, Ferguson, oh, Ferguson. Mm -hmm. or Laguna <laughs> Sokshire might be moving around with the spirit of Mze Mwenyewe. <laughs> <laughs>